Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Healing Guys to Row. This is going to be an August 2021 love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, let's see if we can get something on love for you guys. Please, let's get something on love for Gemini. Okay, starting out with... Ooh. Okay. Okay. This looks like... In the past, someone did you wrong. Someone cheated on you, lied, or stole from you. Um, you took a break from this person. And there's also, it seems like it might, they broke your heart. It might have been a third party situation. It might have been other people involved um, in this breakup. It seems like there was a lot of pain. And you just had, you know, you had enough. You took a break. Now, I don't know if you're still with this person. We'll see when we put more cards. Or there's someone that you actually left. But there was a lot of hurt here. A lot of pain. Ooh, so it looks like you might be walking away now from a situation. You cut them loose. Um, or you did walk away in the past. But there is something moving away from something, something better. Got a nice opportunity here too. Because you got the page of coins. This might be a new job situation. Or someone might be coming in with an offer for you. It might be a love offer. But with the Ace of Swords here, this is a new begin. This is a transformation in your life. This looks really good. The energy feels really good. It feels like you are moving on. You are um, not staying in that energy. Whoever hurt you, whether that was in the recent past, um, even farther back, it's going to be different for everyone. Or is if you're just going through it now that, you know, that you're moving on. You could have moved on before. Um... And now there's something else you're moving on to. There's some other new beginnings. So this is gonna be the this is gonna be different for different people back you know, for the past energy here. And you're coming into a lot of happiness here. Look at this. I like this for you guys. So we have the Queen of Coins. So your material your material um you're gonna be wealthy material wise. Where there's money coming in, you're you're gonna be doing quite well here. Um, this could also represent for these coins, the page and the queen could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And it's like nine cups you wish come true here, and you also have six of coins. So there's money coming in. Things are changing, things are shifting, and it probably all started when you walked away from something that started something you cut something out and you said I had enough I'm leaving whether this was a job or um, um, a relationship and we do have the ace of coins yes yeah, so money's here there's new beginnings um, and finances looks really good this looks like you have uh, opportunities coming towards you. you have two aces in this spread how nice is that and you went through some pain and you went through um you probably went deep within to um heal yourself here so let's start clarifying these see what's going on here the seven of swords and sneaky energy here mm. see we had someone maybe spying on you watching you in the past This could be um, another Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. This this feels like there you, you get some information about this person being sneaky is what I'm feeling. Um, maybe you're watching them and figure it out that they were doing something. Because it feels more like this energy feels like you found out something. You discovered something. That this person was not being honest with you. Whether they were cheating on you or just not not being open about things. Because I also feel sometimes, you know, when you get the the third party involved here, it does not have to be that someone is cheating on you with someone else. It could be that there's just other people interfering in your relationship. Okay, what about the four of swords? The fool, yeah. You you started something new here. Weird how we got all swords here, except for the fool so far. So this is a brand new beginning that you started in the past. So you did leave this person. You thought about it. You probably took a break from them, and then then decided to end it to start start something new. But maybe you took a break first to really think about it. Okay, now what about the three of swords? Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And and this end up bringing you happiness. And the you know after you left them, it brought in happiness. You might have even thought that this person was your ten of cups, your wish fulfillment, but by leaving them, it brought you happiness. And you let, might have left them in a hurry too. We got cancer energy, or you might have just flew out. Just a, you took a little break, and then you said, "That's it, I'm done." So, but that is the tens are also ending too. So you ended this to go for your happiness. Okay, now what about because you weren't get you weren't happy with this person? Why do we have this piece of swords? So we have the Knight of Wands coming in here. Now this could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. doesn't have to be. But there's someone coming in here with a lot of passion. And it could be, it could be also offering an opportunity for a job. But it feels more like a love interest. And um, this, the Page of Wands moves quickly. So it might just show up, surprise you. How about this Eight of Cups? Okay, so now we have the Six of Wands. So whatever you left to come to something new, it's going to bring you into a lot of um, recognition and getting accolades for the things that you do. But it might be a little slow coming. You might have to do something first or it won't happen to you actually do move on and this is the general energy that you're doing you're walking away from something in your life it is going to bring you a lot of finance here look at this could be bringing in a, a treasure chest of money here could be an inheritance could be a lottery could be anything that could bring in some money here but six of six of wands, that's great because that means things are moving. When you move away from this, this will come in. It might be a little slower than you would like, but it's coming in. How about the page of coins? Wow. So maybe this offer that comes in is gonna shock you. This could be offer of love from this page of, of coins here. It could um come out of the blue. And this is like energy that you can feel now. Or when it does come in, it's just going to change your whole world. It could be like a major change when this offer comes in, whatever it is. Substantial. Look, we have the King of Wands here. A lot of passion. Could be a job. Let's come in for you guys. Okay, what about this Queen of Coins? Okay, so when you come into this money, I feel like you're coming into money here that you're be making money. I think you're not going to let people know that you're whatever you're doing that you're making this money. You're going to keep this to yourself, and I think it's a good idea. If it's a new job, you're not going to tell people about it. You're not going to. You just you want to keep this information to yourself. Okay, what about the nine of cups? Hmm. So this is coming in, this happiness after going through a lot of heartache. And you've been working a lot here. To get this money, this eight of eight of pentacles isn't it wasn't just handed to you. You work very hard to get this. And the bottom we have tempers. Things are balancing out in your life. I just want a little more information on this Three of Swords here. A little more about that, please. See, now here we have the Six. So whatever is happening here, you're going to get your wish fulfillment. You've been through a lot of pain. You left something because of the pain to go on to something else and by believing whatever this heartache was whatever this suffer that you suffered it brought in the nine cups and it has the queen of wands so this could either be your energy or someone else's energy coming in that could be offering you something or bringing you something but the queen of wands is um very sexy and alluring and attractive so you could be people could be noticing you and seeing you your worth and it's going to bring you a lot of abundance we have the ten of coins 
on the bottom of the deck before and now we have it here again so there's definitely a lot of money coming you're working hard you're, you're starting to get money and you are going to get recognized so here we have this card that was reversed here is going to flip over in time so you have it actually twice here just is a little slow come here it might be getting recognized for a couple of different things and we do have um three of pentacles this could be working in a partnership this could be um you just really putting time into work and doing something here but it also could be teamwork but you're you're doing a good job whatever you're doing i feel a lot see a lot of pentacles here for you guys okay let's get some more cards Yeah, Queen of Wands could be bringing in some kind of offer for you that brings in money. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else do we have here for Gemini? Leo. So here we have Leo. You are very strong. Whatever you're doing here, keep it up. Just keep the faith. Keep, keep being strong. It's helping you. Yeah, Leo's very strong. So now we have the King of Wands. So we have the King and Queen of Wands. There's a lot of passion here with somebody. Who's King of Wands coming in? Um, we have the Knight of Wands, King of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. So we have a lot of passion going on here. So this could represent uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but very strong Leo with the two cards together here. A lot of strength. Very strong together. I think together you'll make a power couple. That uh, it could be a work situation with them being wands. You could be meeting someone at work or, or at your job or at your business. Um, what else do we have here? This is going to happen quickly too. Cancer energy. Something's moving along real quick for you. And we have the emperor too. Um, you're in charge. You're very strong. I feel like this strength card here and the emperor... Whatever you've been through is making you stronger. You, you probably had to go through it. And now you're seeing how it has made you stronger. And if it could be Aries, this could be a boss. This could be someone in charge. This could be, um, let's get another card here. Yeah, walking away from something. You could even be walking away from a position. Maybe you held a position that was um, a powerful position. You might be walking away from for your happiness too. So you could be leaving this emperor, this energy. Let's see what else we have. Three of Cups. You're going to be celebrating. Whatever you're doing, you're going to be celebrating. And we have the King of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here. A lot of love here. It could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Does not have to be. It could just be the um, attributes of this card saying that there's a lot of love coming in. A lot of love with this happening and celebrating. This could be your energy. It could be someone else's energy. And the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. Divine timing. And the Queen of Swords. So this very well could be your energy. That you're not putting up anybody's crap. And right here we had three. Wait, I was thinking we had a King. We didn't have King of Swords, right? No. Okay. So the Queen of Swords. So here, not putting up with anybody's crap. Changing things around to... You're very into, intelligent here. So you're not going to put up anybody's crap. That's what I'm getting. It's like you had enough with the pain that you suffered over here in the past and this is going to bring you into being self-reliant self-sufficient um money looks good definitely money looks good for you guys and the tower again surprise something's going to happen here something is definitely changing something's happening and we have the devil energy there might be a Capricorn coming back in and surprising you. It might surprise you to find out how this some, someone is really obsessing over you.
Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands again. Yeah, someone someone finds you very attractive. This might shock you who this person is that, that is so attracted to you, but they are obsessed over you. They are desiring you. You've been really focusing on your work, though. You've been putting a lot of time to work. You have the Eight of Pentacles twice here. You've been really focusing on your job, your work. You might not even notice this person. Wow, judgment. Yeah, there's some. Someone might be coming back around too. Um, it's weird because this this guy's putting his hand out to her, and she doesn't even see it. She's too busy doing her own thing. She's happy in what she's doing. She's very content. I feel like you are really focusing on your work. You're not noticing this person, but this person really is obsessing over you. They want your attention. They might want to give to this relationship. Here we have Six of Pentacles again. We got the Eight of Pentacles twice, Six of Pentacles twice. Let me get more on this devil. Let me see. Got this stick. No, I don't want that deck. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm just. Let me see. What's the devil doing here? What's going on with this devil? So we have the Eight of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Two. Of, look at that. All swords. So.